So talking about the environmental economics, uh, the natural question is how to use resources more effectively. And one of the answer can be, let's share underused resources. Because it's occurred that we have a lot of already goods, uh, services, we have a lot of um, resources, uh, which we paid for, but we don't use them all the time. So during the time we don't, for example, one person uh, doesn't need them, uh, other person could use it. Of course, paying some little amount for um, this, let's say, rent for this share. The good example uh, of this idea is um, the problem with the cars uh, in nowadays um, cities, street, streets. Uh, more, uh, most uh, cities nowadays have this problem with too much cars on the street. Of course, too much con congestion. But uh, when we focus, what kind of uh, cars are usually on the street? What kind of cars uh, do this con congestion of the street? Uh, it's occurred that most of them uh, circulate about uh, around the city because they are, uh, for example, looking for the parking space, and also this parking space cities need need uh, the parking space more and more because uh, the owner of the car doesn't need this car all the time. Uh, it only it's only needed to travel from one point to another, and the rest of the time, for example, the rest of the day, it's unused. Also, a lot of the circulation and congestion is made by cars, like lightweight trucks, uh, which um, deliver goods. But most of the space of this deliver uh, packing, uh, sp loading space, it's unused. Mostly they circulate empty. So what about to use this space, which is empty by another company or other kind of goods? Uh, also, most of travels, for example, this commuting, everyday commuting, uh, uh, home, work, work, home, it's made by uh, drivers uh, with uh, by their own cars, but usually uh, in a car, in a four, five seat uh, car, uh, there is only one person, the driver, and the rest of the space is unused. Uh, so how about to take someone else who also travel to the same direction um, to use this space, uh, the car, which is travel to the same direction. Uh, other examples of this sharing the underused resources is, uh, uh, for example, uh, those are uh, rooms or beds in our houses. We, when we don't use them at this moment, we can share with some traveler or uh, someone who, who, who is traveling. Also like office space, sharing by uh, two or more companies because not, uh, not always um, the company need, for example, the uh, big hall or conference hall uh, for meetings, yes. Uh, also some of the mm, financial, financial capital uh, which is not used at this moment could be uh, peer-to-peer land, for example. Uh, and clothes, we also can share uh, or exchange uh, clothes. All of these uh, ideas, uh, that's the new model of economy, which is called the sharing economy. Uh, and that is the peer-to-peer -peer based activity of acquiring providing or sharing access to goods and services that is often facilitated by community-based online platforms. Those online platforms are very um, needed for this idea because that's the place where the information about the needs and um, underused resources can be exchanged. So um, when we, for example, uh, look um, we are, when we are looking for um, transport uh, from one point to another, we can uh, check on those platforms uh, who is driving uh, this way and who can who ha have space in uh, its car. 
and uh, can uh, could drive us to the place uh, of our destination. Um, so the idea is very uh, good and could solve many problems, especially in the cities. Uh, but unfortunately, there are some disadvantages of this idea and it met a lot of criticism last time. Uh, some of the criticism uh, is related with uh, the risk and even danger of use, um, you know, to meet, to travel, for example, with someone you don't know, uh, to sleep in a house, uh, someone uh, you don't know. Uh, there is also a risk of low quality or other risk or dangers. But there is also um, because this sharing uh, is connected with some little money uh, to the owner for the share of the resource. So um, from the economy, from the government point of view, there are some, some transaction, financial transactions, which are not, um, not seen by the system. And also uh, there are some income from the, for the people who, who are the owner of the uh, goods, of the resources, uh, which is not evidence. Uh, so uh, the new uh, solutions are related with this model of economy, the regulations. Uh, the regulations uh, to, to have some uh, like management of this um, of this uh, situation of sharing, yes, of this, uh, but the regulations like taxes for the income and other rules which are introduced cause that um, the cost of the sharing is much higher and of course it's uh, seen in price. So the price for sharing are higher when the tax, for example, uh, come uh, to this relation. Um, and when we put the regulation to this peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, because the idea is to peer-to-peer -peer sharing, yes, when we um, put the regulation there and taxes, it became more a rental business than peer-to-peer -peer sharing of resources. So in this way, the idea cannot be as good as it could. Yes, uh, it's impossible uh, to, to have these advantages uh, at, as it could have. Uh, another um, situation, another uh, vision of this uh, sharing economy uh, is also in the cities. It's about the space. Because in mostly, uh, most uh, cities, especially in Western country, but not only, um, every uh, space in a, in a city is uh, dedicated to specific people or specific, for example, kind of transportation or a specific use, a specific uh, industry and so on. Um, and all this problem with sharing uh, resources uh, is because um, when, when the resources are dedicated, when, uh, so the, uh, how we can change it? Not to dedicate uh, the resources, but let's then be for every kind of use, for every person also. That's the idea of sharing. And the example of the space is uh, when we don't dedicate the space, for example, of, of our street, uh, to a particular uh, people, particular use, we have a space which we can use um, totally free way and much more effective. And that's the example in um, um, cities, the solutions in cities, those are the owner. Those are the kind of the street when there is no dedicated uh, space, but everyone uh, every kind of user can use the space uh, how it needed. But of course, that needs attention, that needs to be aware of other users. So the, for example, drivers cannot drive uh, fast. They have to 
uh, be aware all the time and expect that someone can, for example, walk or uh, drive a bicycle and so on. But in this, um, this solution, much more users uh, can be in one place, uh, in one uh, moment. So the space of the cities uh, can be used much more effectively. Um, another answer for this question, how to use resources more effective, could be uh, let's use, uh, we can, uh, let's don't waste resources so much because we are too poor to could um, not use resources uh, totally. And uh, that's, uh, that, that idea leads us to the zero waste policy, or at least less waste policy. Because sometimes maybe it's not so easy or it needs time, it needs some development to, to gain the zero waste um, situation, but at least much less waste. And that's connected with the circular economy. So that means that we uh, have to be aware about the all the li uh, life cycle of the goods of the services. And uh, the idea has like uh, three steps. First of all, we would like to pay attention and we would like to try to make the goods or services, uh, use resources, uh, which uh, are able to be reuse, uh, use again. So try to uh, produce and use the goods which can we be used again and again. If it's not possible, because sometimes it's not possible, so after use, let it be recyclable. So use the same materials to produce something uh, new, but using uh, the main resources, the same resources, yes. Uh, the situation doesn't need to uh, for example, new uh, natural resources. But sometimes, of course, even th that is impossible. So when you cannot reuse, when you cannot recycle, so at least um, um, disposed, but uh, naturally. So makes uh, things, goods and uh, services the way they be biodegradable. And this, those principles should be in every situation of um, goods life cycle and uh, of, of course services life cycle uh, during the uh, production. Those principles uh, should be um, pay attention during using. So try to reuse or recycle or if it's impossible, do everything it that being biodegradable. Um, and also during the disposal. 